Now, this is my third 3D Dinosaur Adventure video that I'm doing. And, if you don't remember in my first one, I pointed out um, a little interesting article that I found in the encyclopedia section of the game. Now, for this video, I'm going to be pointing out um, some something interesting that I noticed in the um, both the Create a Source section and the, uh, what's it called, uh, the museum. Now, this is all about the, um, the 3D models, the computer models that they used for those sections. What I noticed was that the shapes and everything else that um, they used was very similar to, to a dinosaur line called the Carnegie Collection. Now, the Carnegie Collection is a, um, a line of scale model dinosaurs that started in, uh, I think it was January 1988, and has been going on ever since. Now, certain ones that they have resemble certain models that were in the collection. I'll show you. Now, um, what I noticed was that the, um, the model, the 3D model they used for the Albertosaurus is similar to the Allosaurus. Um, model in the Carnegie collection. See? With the Diplodocus, it's just like the uh, model in the Carnegie collection, except the only difference is that the, uh, the shape of the tail is the shape of the tail is much more uncurved, I should say. Now, the, um, the Parasaurolophus one is also the same. The Pteranodon one is also kind of the same thing, except the only difference is that the head is pointing straight forward while with the model that it's with the model that it's similar to, it's pointing kind of diagonal. Here's the Stegosaurus model. Here's the Carnegie Collection model. Here's the Tyrannosaurus model, and here's the Tyrannosaurus model from the Carnegie Collection. Now, um, this one, even though the head is different than this one, this one is a re-sculpt. This one, there was a, the first version of this one did look um, like this one. You can see that their bodies look pretty similar. And I uh, wait, did I show the Triceratops one? No, I didn't. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is the uh, Triceratops model, and here's the here's the Carnegie Collection Triceratops model. See that the legs are a little more straight. Now, um, what I'm trying to say is, I'm not. I don't think that they stole these deliberately, and I'm not not trying to say that at all. But what I do think is that they might have, um, they might have, like, scanned these, um, physical models and put them in the computer digitally. Kind of like what they do with real movies, like, with Walking with Dinosaurs, they would have a maquette or a model, and they would, um, scan it and put it into the computer. Anyway, I'll be returning with more videos soon, and I'll see you next time.